Hey, it's summer, we're outdoors, we're loving life, but really, are you loving your furniture? I wasn't, and I'm gonna share some mistakes I made with you before I got to the right mix. Hey, it's Scott. Welcome to Around the House with Scott, where I share tips, tricks, and hacks for better living inside, outside, and all around the house. Today, we're outside on my patio, and if you follow this series, you've noticed several incarnations of my patio. Well, I got out here this summer and realized my furniture was rusted. It was gone. In fact, I need to replace it. But my patio space is fairly limited and a little bit confining, so just any configuration would not work. In fact, at first, I had two big sofas that I bought that faced each other. I had some chairs. The whole thing was kind of a big mess, and I realized I need to take it from the pros and measure, measure, measure. So what I did next is I took detailed measurements of the patio, put a little schematic on paper, got some little other pieces of paper, cut them out and started moving furniture around. That's so old school, it's not CAD design, but it worked for me and I realized that the best seating solution for my patio was gonna be an L-shaped sofa like this one that I have here and then just one oversized chair as an accent. Now, off camera behind me, we also have another table and some dining chairs. This table actually opens up into a round and can move out. Again, if you've watched my other videos, you know my 90-10 rule. 10% of the time is when I need the big space. The rest of the time, I need to stay in scale. So, my tip for you today, number one, is measure, 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 and figure out the different possibilities that you might have. When I finally stepped back and realized, hey, I need to really take some care and deciding not only what the seating configuration is gonna be, but also what the mix is gonna be. What's it gonna be? It's so easy to get caught up in these brochures for the big box stores with the woven wicker, as I call it, the giant set of 20 pieces. Well, you know what? Most of those you don't even need. And then the cushions are like this thick. They're soft as marshmallows. They're not really high quality. So in the long run, you're not really getting that much. and You do get what you pay for. So after looking around a lot, I decided on this furniture set from Scandinavian Designs, which is a great kind of a design forward store that I like. I didn't expect to find this mix of acacia wood and stainless steel, but it's gonna be low maintenance. And this outdoor fabric is also great, which I waterproof to make it even easier to care for. So make sure you think about the surfaces that you're looking at. You know, you've got the teak, which is always popular, but then you've got a maintenance issue with that that you wanna look into. Those resin wickers are super, super popular, but I think they're kind of waning in style. And then there's other factors too, whether you get an aluminum, powder coated steel, so many different options, but think about what your maintenance gonna look like. For me, this maintenance seems really easy. I just wipe down with a damp cloth, the acacia wood, and just use a stainless steel cleaner with a damp microfiber towel once a week, and I'm good to go. So that could really kind of work for me. And then once I found the configuration that worked, I realized I didn't really need a coffee table or something. So I found these, I call them tuffets online. I mean, they're just plastic, but they're so lightweight, and you can kind of slide them around, use them for footstools. And this can be for your drinks or whatnot. And it's also a little compartment where I keep my brush and a couple other cleaning supplies so I can keep everything at its best. I'll share the link of where I got these things because they are on Amazon, admittedly. They were really reasonable. And until I find something that really is suitable for me, maybe a coffee table that's out of concrete or something, these certainly fit the bill and make relaxing really easy for the summer. So, you know, it's really what speaks to you. But again, don't be afraid to get creative. Don't be afraid to go away from the big box stores. Look a little bit outside the lines and I think you'll find something that's really comfortable. I'm super happy with what I got. The other thing I love about having a L-shaped sofa is if you've got two people in the household, you've got one person to kind of hang out here, the other person's over there. You can get cozy with your other half, play a little footsie while you're reading and having your glass of wine. I found this is great for me. A little all over the place on today's video, but I gotta tell you, I am super happy with what I ended up with. And again, in closing, I just wanna say, choose wisely measure carefully first and just avoid having a whole bunch of stuff come to your house that you've got to return first. You can do it. I'm super happy with what I came up with here and it just took being patient and taking a few steps back. Thanks for watching today.